Boy, do I have a story to tell you guys. I woke up at the wee hours of the morning to go surfing and use my favorite board ever. And of course, I see a dent on the nose of my board. I caught my first wave on this board. I was so bummed when I saw it, but you know. Oh, hang on a sec. Oh, <laughs> would you look at that? It's actually just dirt. We're all good. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Hey guys, let's just ignore the fact that I have makeup on my shirt. I, I could have changed my shirt, but I, I just don't want to. But anyways, you know what I absolutely love? I love being an adult. I pay taxes, I have a job, I do my laundry at least like once a month. I make my own money, which means I can use my money however I please and buy whatever I want. This time, I spent my money on something amazing, possibly the most epic machine that money can buy. A pottery wheel. I have a bad habit of picking up hobbies and only doing them for about a week, so I never even end up getting good at it. But you know what? I feel good about this week. I think that this week is going to turn better than last week's hobby, which was attempting to do improv. So Maddie and I are currently at a studio, and there's a ton of sets here, so we're just going to have some fun. All right, we got people here. Welcome to the worst place on earth, dying, or what can I get you? I got a milkshake. You know, we got a... McDonald's right across the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ladies, in about three seconds, we're gonna pick it up, really feel it in those glutes. Ready? Up, down, up. <gasps> That's right, ladies. Brian's gonna definitely regret leaving me now. it has been really weird since you got back from fall semester. Hey, yes. guys. Can I sit with you? Go, <sighs> shoot. That was such a Hate her. <laughs> <laughs> That's just so cute. You never want to be with a girl like me. No, he's totally into you. He asked for your eraser and math. Really? Oh, wait, no, he's me as her dog. Oh they do a big thing. Um, hi, Chad. Huh? What? No! <laughs> okay. Famous actor Mark Wahlberg posted his daily schedule this week and he's successful and I would also like to be successful as well. So on Tuesday, I became Mr. Berg and woke up at 2.30 in the f***ing morning. No human being should actually be waking up at 2.30 in the morning to start their day. I feel like that's probably just like gonna lead to some sort of health problem or something. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call Mark myself with a strongly worded message saying how absolutely ridiculous this daily schedule is. Thank you for calling Olive Garden in Huntington Oh shit, 3.15 a.m. breakfast. Who in their right mind is eating breakfast at 3.15 in the morning? I have no ounce of hunger in me whatsoever. I've got a need for speed, but that's completely separate. Okay, so I know Lexi has a really long day today, so we have to make sure that we're really quiet. Yeah. Say this bad boy's almost done. And voila, breakfast of a champion. Okay, what's next? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> next on our list is a 3.40 to 5.15 a.m. workout. No single part of me wants to do this right now. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. It's breakfast time, girlies. Again. What do we have for breakfast? We have dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. So filling. 6 a.m. shower, 7.30 golf. Mark showers for an hour and a half. God, his water bill must be crazy, but um, okay. Okay, she's showered and ready to go. I want her. Okay, next up we have golfing at 7.30. I've never actually been golfing before, but I'm really excited to try. Okay, um, you know what? Uh, no, I'm not doing this. Golf is just not for me, and especially at this hour. I'm going to bed. Okay. So after trying that absolutely unhinged daily schedule, waking up at the crack of Adam Sandler's ass, I've come to the conclusion that maybe structure just isn't for me. Unless of course it has to do with my mug, cause my mug is coming out great. I don't know if you can see. I'm having the time of my life. Speaking of the time of my life, Wednesday was also great because it was a very special day because I- Hey babe. Oh, hey. Maybe later. Oh. Hey Pearson. So I just got back from six party cities in seven different countries and I got that disco ball of T-Rex costume that you asked for. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> So today, Maddie's gonna be Brent for the day, and Brent is gonna be my assistant, Matthew, for the day. Hey, um, do you by chance have a 14 through 18 foot saltwater crocodile? No. <laughs> what about a 13 through 16 foot? No. Okay. <laughs> Pearson! What? I finally found your Oscar red carpet outfit. Oh, awesome, let me try it on. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! Just, 
it's just this little thing right here. There we go! Hey, I really want to ask her now, but I, I just don't know how. You just gotta do it, dude. In fact, do it next time you see her. Okay. Hey, guys. Hey. Why do you look so nervous? Well, last week during the High School Musical movie, I was watching the Tori and Gabriella scene and I peed myself and I didn't know what to do, so I didn't tell anyone and now I've been holding it all inside and I, I just thought I should tell you now. Sorry. Maddie? Maddie, I just asked for a bowl of cereal. I'm sorry, Pearson. I didn't mean to do it. Okay, well... Are you okay with DoorDash? Can I DoorDash something for you? Yeah, sure. Okay, I can't cook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I was thinking for this week's video, we put you in a coffin full of tarantulas, because oh. I know it's your biggest fear. Then we're gonna put the coffin on your back, have you climb Mount Everest, and then when you get to the top, we'll have a stunt helicopter pick you up as you jump out without a parachute, of course. <laughs> I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. No, she wants to do all these things. So are, are you gonna do this with me at all? Or? Oh, absolutely not. Oh, sick. Coffins are heavy. You know? What? <laughs> I... <laughs> Maddie, I think a package just got delivered. Can you just run and grab it really quick? Package on it. Package for Pearson. Oh, thank you. Actually, I think another one just arrived. Oh, on it. Thank you. Oh, actually, there's Way ahead actually. Of you. You know what, I'd say my mug is coming along nicely. More of like an ashtray. Moving along, the rest of the week was more or less just straight chaos. Chad was late to dinner, so we ordered him a drink. There's no way to do it. <laughs> but of course, nothing is that simple with Chad, so he took it one step further. <gasps> um. And on Friday, the queen showed up. And then I got this, and I thought maybe you'd like this because it's like for working out. Wait, is that for me or for you? Well, we could share it. <laughs> you live an hour away. <laughs> and then the week came to a close with a sweet brother sister moment. Okay. What you're really good at is being a cloud chaser. Lip. <laughs> Underminer versus Mega Mind over here. <laughs> you know what? I'm just glad that I wasn't the child that got kicked out of college. Okay. Did you ever go? <laughs> and done. You know, she might not be the prettiest, but I gave her my all, and I, I'm proud of that. And now, homegirl's got a new coffee mug. YouTube slash Pearson. <laughs> <laughs>